Lyocell is a form of rayon which consists of cellulose fiber made from dissolving pulp using dry jet wet spinning. It was developed beginning in 1972 by a team at the now defunct American Anchor Fibers facility at Anchor, North Carolina. This development was recognized by the American Association of Textile Chemists and Colorists in 2003 by the awarding of the Henry E. Milson Award for invention. The operating name for the fiber inside the ENCA organization was New Chell, and the development was carried through pilot plant scale before the work was halted. The fiber was developed further as Tencel in the 1980s by Courtauld's Fibers in Coventry, UK and at the Grimsby, UK pilot plant. The process was first commercialized at Courtauld's Rayon factories at Mobile, Alabama and at the Grimsby plant. In 1998 Courtauld's was acquired by Axo Nobel, who combined the Tencel division with other fiber divisions under the Acordis banner. Prior to selling them off to private equity, in 2004 CVC sold the Tencel division to Lensing Ag, who combined it with their Lensing Lichel business but maintained the brand name Tencel. As of 2013, Lensing's Tencel brand is perhaps the most widely known Lichel fiber producer throughout the world. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission defines Lichel as a fiber composed of cellulose precipitate from an organic solution in which no substitution of the hydroxyl groups takes place and no chemical intermediates are formed. It classifies the fiber as a subcategory of rayon. The fiber is used to make textiles for clothing and other purposes. Uses as of 2010, live gel is more expensive to produce than cotton or viscose rayon. It is used in many everyday fabrics. Staple fibers are used in clothes such as denim, chino, underwear, casual wear, and towels. Filament fibers are used in items that have a silkier appearance such as women's clothing and men's dress shirts. Lyocell can be blended with a variety of other fibers such as silk, cotton, rayon, polyester, linen, nylon, and wool. Lyocell is also used in conveyor belts, specialty papers, and medical dressings. Properties Lyocell shares many properties with other cellulosic fibers such as cotton, linen, ramy, and viscose rayon. Some main characteristics of Lyocell fibers are that they are soft, absorbent, very strong when wet or dry, and resistant to wrinkles. Lyocell fabric can be machine washed to dry cleaned, it drapes well, and it can be dyed many colors, and can simulate a variety of textures such as suede, leather, and silk. Manufacturing process. Hardwood logs are chipped into squares about the size of postage stamps. The chips are digested chemically to remove the lignin and to soften them enough to be mechanically milled to a wet pulp. This pulp may be bleached. Then it is dried into a continuous sheet and rolled onto spools. At this stage, it has a consistency of thick post-board paper. The roll of cellulose weighs some 500 pounds. The waste liquor may be reworked to produce tall oil, used to make alkyd resins. At the Lychel mill, rolls of pulp are broken into one-inch squares and dissolved in N-methyl morpholine N-oxide, giving a solution, called dough. The filtered cellulose solution is then pumped through spinnerets, devices used with a variety of man-made fibers. The spinneret is pierced with small holes rather like a shower head. When the solution is forced through it, continuous strands of filament come out. The fibers are drawn in air to align the cellulose molecules, giving the large gel fibers its characteristic high strength. The fibers are then immersed in another solution of amine oxide, diluted this time, which sets the fiber strands. Then they are washed with demineralized water. 
The lichel fiber next passes to a drying area, where the water is evaporated from it. The strands then pass to a finishing area, where a lubricant, which may be a soap, a silicon or other agent depending on the future use of the fiber, is applied. This step is basically a detangler, prior to carding and spinning into yarn. The dried, finished fibers are at this stage in a form called tow, a large and twisted bundle of continuous lengths of filament. The bundles of tow are taken to a crimper, a machine that compresses the fiber, giving it texture and bulk. The crimped fiber is carded by mechanical carders, which perform an action like combing, to separate and order the strands. The carded strands are cut and baled for shipment to a fabric mill. The entire manufacturing process, from unrolling the raw cellulose to baling the fiber, takes about two hours. After this, the lyocell may be processed in many ways. It may be spun with another fiber, such as cotton or wool. The resulting yarn can be woven and knitted like any other fabric, and may be given a variety of finishes, from soft and suede-like to silky. The amine oxide used to dissolve the cellulose and set the fiber after spinning is recycled. 98% of the amine oxide is typically recovered. Since there is little waste product, this process is relatively eco-friendly. However, it uses a substantial amount of energy, and uses an organic solvent of petrochemical origin.